I was hoping you could start by breaking down the study Peglotocase Response Improvement by Co-Treatment with Methotrexate Results from the Mirror Open Label Clinical Trial in Patients with Uncontrolled Gout. Well, yeah, thanks for, for having me here. Um, uh, I'm, I'm John Botson. I'm, I'm a clinical rheumatologist uh, up here in Anchorage, Alaska. And uh, I've been taking part uh, in this um, mirror uh, open label trial. And uh, basically what we've uh, done here is uh, we've taken um, some information that was previously published. Uh, a number of case series have come out uh, showing uh, the efficacy with using peglotocase in combination with methotrexate. And uh, the cases were um, done in different ways. They had different doses of methotrexate and they had different uh, endpoints. Um, and so basically the idea of this, uh, this trial was uh, to really, um, in a, a systematic way, uh, evaluate the use of methotrexate uh, uh, before peglotocase. And uh, basically the, the way the trial was set up is it was set up uh, for adults uh, with uh, chronic gout. Uh, these were adults aged uh, 18 to 65. Um, the only criteria for the uh, uh, trial was that the, per the patient had gout and uh, that they were an adult and then they had to tolerate methotrexate. So everyone uh, that was participating in the study got methotrexate uh, and uh, they took this for four weeks before their first uh, peglotocase infusion. And then the uh, primary endpoint was basically to uh, see at six months if they could maintain a serum uric acid less than six, which uh, that was chosen uh, because, uh, as we know from the American College of Rheumatology, uh, the guidelines would suggest that we treat to target, and that's, uh, that's our target. Um, then uh, we would uh, see how many patients by the end of the study were able to complete the course and maintain their serum uric acid at that level. Um, you know, and, and in summary, we had uh, 14 patients who completed the run-in period, so they tolerated the methotrexate, and then 11 of those 14 were able to uh, meet the primary endpoint. So that gives us a primary endpoint, you know, of about 78.6%, 79% or so of patients actually uh, met the primary endpoint. Um, and it was a very interesting study because uh, it was supporting those previous uh, case reports and case series that were already out there uh, using the combination uh, therapy. Um, you know, Chris, uh, the Peglota case um, uh, responders, they see a rapid response in their serum uric acid after just one dose, so often going undetectable. Um, and then uh, they uh, also see improvement clinically of their tophaceous deposits and, and their gout. Um, there were three patients that uh, did discontinue. They met uh, the um, monitoring protocol, which basically uh, with a peglotocase, if, the, if a person starts to become a non-responder, um, then their serum uric acid won't uh, meet the goal or won't, won't go down to zero. So in these cases, uh, three patients met that. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, um, no new stop and no new um, safety signals, um, even in those patients that had to stop. Um, so, um, you know, in summary, we have an open label trial uh, um, uh, that shows that uh, the use of methotrexate before peglotocase uh, basically doubles the response uh, from using uh, peglotocase alone. Um, uh, and uh, that's kind of the, uh, the setup of the trial. Yeah. So, so exciting news for us rheumatologists. So this wasn't surprising. These results weren't necessarily surprising because you said that it, it kind of further backed other trial results? Yeah, so, so there were case series out there, you know, most of them being small, anywhere from a few patients to 10, um, which suggested that this would work. Um, uh, but again, these were kind of small cases and they weren't uh, done in a way that was easily comparable. You know, different doses of methotrexate, different administration schedules, um, you know, just not, uh, not set up uh, to really draw uh, perfect conclusions from it. So this was kind of the, the way to bring that all together. Um, and, and the results, you know, they weren't really surprising to some of us, you know, as rheumatologists, because we do this all the time. You know, we, we believe that the reason that the um, peglotocase stops working is that the patient's body starts to recognize the drug and makes antibodies against it. And these antibodies neutralize the medication. So it doesn't work anymore. 
Um, and in other uh, diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, when we're using other biologic medicines, you know, we will treat them at the same time uh, with something like methotrexate uh, to help uh, prevent that from happening and essentially make the drug work better. So uh, uh, we've not used methotrexate in gout, obviously. It's not indicated for gout unlike some of our other rheumatologic uh, 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 diseases where methotrexate might actually treat the disease as well as the biologic. So that, that was kind of the, the stretch of the, uh, uh, of the use here because, uh, because it's not generally, it's not used for gout. Um, but the results are similar to what we see with other biologic medicines. So yeah, pretty exciting. Now in the future, how can you see this combination therapy being used? Well, you know, I think this is a this is going to change the way we treat refractory gout. I mean, it's it uh, it's going to be a standard of care, um, you know, a paradigm shift, if you will, uh, because uh, these are patients that have no other options, and so basically, this is their last you know chance at, uh, at helping their gout at, uh, at at getting treated, and so um, you know you can't identify the patients that are not going to respond up front. And so you have to pre-treat everyone essentially uh, with this, and then that'll give people the best chance. So, um, so I see this, using, this being used as a pre-treatment uh, for every patient that's going to get peglodocase. Um, and again, you know, once, once that patient makes those antibodies, essentially you've lost the ability to treat them.